This is my last passage of scripture. And we're going on here. Matthew 5, 13. Somebody say, pass the salt. Pass the salt. Jesus said we are the salt of the earth. That's what he said. The, loud, the salt has lost its work. <laughs> you gotta, if you're going to get salt, you have to use it. If the apostle or the prophet sprinkles salt on you, you got to use it. Wow. You may not be up here in this podium preaching. Come on, somebody. But you need to be out there in that podium preaching. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Teaching real good. Yeah. Everybody don't get up here. That's right. Some of y'all going to get the word. Right. Some of y'all going to be on your job. Right. And you ain't going to wait to bring him to profit. You're going to be able to cast that demon out right there in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Right. Some folks may not never come to the church. You run across them on the street, and it's your opportunity right there to get it. Amen. I never come here. That's right. We're talking about empowerment. Amen. 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 You young people got, y'all got some power up in here. Right. There are so many apostles, graces of the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, pastors, and teachers up in this room. I'm telling you, God is about to open up and unlock those things inside of you. Those spiritual gifts are about to come forward. I'm telling you what I know. If you want it today, today is the day of giving. I came for you today. An apostle, one that is sent. He sent to do a work. Can I walk? Can I help you tonight? Read Matthew 5, 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savor, wherewithal shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Stop. Ye are the salt of the earth. Why did he call you the salt of the earth? The salt, when you look at the, I mean, the mines of Morocco, they were miners, and if you were a miner in this biblical time, or this custom, or this, 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 this time frame, you were very important. Miners were very important. Amen. They went down deep into the darkest parts of the mine to get the salt. Can I help you out? Yes. Jesus went down into the darkness to bring you to his marvelous light. Hey. Hello, miner. Yes. You are the salt.
So when you are being rubbed by God, you are coming into covenant with God. Many of us, we're in covenant with God now. You are brought out of darkness. You are purified. You are preserved. You are cleaned up. And now he brought you into covenant with him. That's right. Can I talk to you real quick? Can I talk to you? Yes. Listen to this. Before you were in your mother's womb, he knew you. Amen? So, with the Arabs, the eating of salt with anyone is a pledge of mutual friendship or relationship. Yes. Wow. So when they ate salt with you, it was something that we are in friendship with one another. Wow. He pulled you out. Yes. He, per he processed you, yes. cleansed you up. Yes. Brought you in covenant, brought you in oh, yes. relationship and friendship with him. Yes. Jesus says, ye are my friends if you do what I Amazing. say. Yes. Oh, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. In, in covenant, in French relationship. Now listen to this, salt. The Persians and East Indians, to eat the salt of a person is to be in his employ. When they ate salt with you, that means that you now begin to work for them. Mm. Now that you're in God, you're in covenant, you've been brought out, you've been processed, you've been cleansed up, you're in covenant, you're in relationship with them. Now it's time to go to work. Now you are employed by him. You are not your own anymore. Your life is not your life. He says, if you give up your life for me, you'll gain it. Amen. Amen. You got to now lose your life. Amen. When you lose your life, you'll gain. If you try to gain your life, you'll lose. That's why he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his what? His righteousness. Get in right standing with God. And then all these things will be added to you. See, a lot of times we've got the horse, the cart in front of the horse. Yes, yeah. We're trying to go get it. God has, God broke me and my wife up a little bit. Not broke us up, but broke us down a little bit. <laughs> so y'all running, y'all forgetting about me, this business, even though it's prosperous and it's real good, and, and God is moving and building it. But we were putting all our time on the business and work, and we were forgetting to talk about anything, the work. Amen. So God started messing with the money a little bit. Woke us up, didn't he? Amen. <laughs> Woke us up. Then we, we, we turned on the radio. She was taking me to work at 5.30 and Charles Stanley was on there. Okay. And Charles Stanley began to talk about money. He said, he said money can also be a, a, a bad thing to you. Because if you chasing it and forgetting about God, oh, y'all oh, better hear me about the Holy Ghost. Then God has to shake it up to get your attention. Amen. He got our attention. And the minute he got our attention and we repented, the flow began to flow. Come on, somebody. I'm testifying already. Listen, people of God. Listen. Jesus is here right now. Standing all over this bush. Come on. Come on, give me something. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Stand. Come on, stand. We're standing. We're standing. I'm sorry. We're standing. Come on. Give me that breath. I need that. Take it down just a little bit right now. I, be, I need everybody to begin to pray in the heavenly language. Come on. Begin to edify your spirit. Come on. If you speak in tongues, edify. Come on. Come on. Begin to pray in your heavenly language. Come on. Come on. Come on. That said they were sick to come. The Bible says that they are sick among any amongst you. Let them call for the elders of the church. Now come now. Come on. But come with an expectancy. Come with faith. Uh -uh, that ain't good enough. Come on. Come on. I need you to pray. When you finish, you press that button again. I need everybody praying. If you can sit there with your mouth closed, if you don't speak in tongues, pray. Put your hands together. Do something. Come on. Come on. I need you to pray. I need you to give God glory up here. Expect it, mother. Expect it today. Expect it today. 